In this first clip, my viewer is doing a right turn in pretty busy rush hour traffic. But it's the cars in the left hand lane of the oncoming vehicles that we're watching. And particularly the next one. Are you as gobsmacked as I was when I first saw this incident? Well, let's have a look at it again, and I'll try and point out a few things that don't add up to me. First of all, my viewer's turning right, so it's down to him to get this crossing traffic situation done safely. When a space appears, I must admit, my viewer takes a little bit of a risk. I wouldn't have gone here, or at least I'd taken a lot more care. The car that eventually collides with my viewer is visible. And you can just make out, I know it's difficult, but it has got a left signal on. But the unusual part for me is that my viewer makes it all the way into his exit road and then gets hit. This pause is the frame before impact. And even though the oncoming car did have priority, surely they had time to stop before this happened. The other driver did refuse to give my viewer his dashcam footage. And I have also been told the other driver was a disabled driver. But I don't think that would have any bearing on what happened in this clip. Let me know what you think. This clip's from Melbourne in Australia. And it's not the best from my camera or the lorry on the left. First of all, there's no way in the world I'll be sitting next to this lorry. And especially now the driver's put a right signal on. Driving in a staggered formation is always the safest because you've got escape routes. But this didn't seem to cross my viewer's mind. This next bit's a disgrace though. Watch out! <sighs> I know it's much more difficult to speed up and slow down when you're driving a heavy. Other vehicles around need to appreciate this more. But I think both of these drivers were extremely stubborn and didn't want to cede priority. However, the lorry driver's actions were simply dangerous. Anyone who uses their vehicle in a threatening manner, just like this driver did, need taken off the road permanently. It wasn't as if he even had to rush for the lane change, was it? Just a short clip with this one, but it's an important message. There are still a few junctions about which have no way of controlling them. Don't assume priority. It's simple. I must admit, this junction is particularly sketchy, and it's here if you didn't know where it was. Don't worry, we're going to delve into this one a little as well. This clip was recorded just northwest of Leicester, in an area called Colville. My viewer was travelling down Ashby Road in the direction of Leicester city centre. And here's the National Tyres and Auto Care Centre that we can see in the clip. You might have even missed what happened in the first showing. Let me explain. This was the direction of travel. And while moving back to the left because he wanted to use the left lane to go ahead, he actually went straight through and over this bollard on the left. Have you even seen the bollard yet? Well, you'd be excused if you haven't because it's really difficult. The crossroads up ahead is slightly staggered and that means the oncoming vehicles shining their lights are actually faced straight towards my camera, where usually they'd be on the other side of the road. If you add that to the darkness and the wet weather, this bollard was virtually impossible to see and it's totally understandable why it was missed. Road planners won, motorists nil. Final result. Here's another short clip with some advice which would hopefully stop you doing something similar. My viewer is deciding to change lanes back to the left, right at the point where they're not visible to the car emerging from the side road. This is a poor decision, as you'll see. 
either do it well before or leave it till well after. There's not much analysis needed with this final clip. The only thing I'd like to add is I wish people would pay attention, because when you don't, it can be pretty serious. Try and keep safe out there everyone, see you soon.